Hey, Escape the Rumors, this is officially the last stop that we're making for our Canada tour as we are driving back home to New York. We're at Escape Time Adventures! I'm very excited for their games here. But before that, you'll get a sneak peek of inside their lobby, find out more information about them through an interview with the owners, and more! Please show your support by liking and subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Unlocking everybody is Brady from Escape the Rumors. Last stop on our Canada tour, but we're not in Canada. We are in Wappinger Falls at Escape Time Adventures, and I'm with Kevin and Holly, the owners. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, we played. We were supposed to play one game. I don't know how it ended up <laughs> playing two games. Maybe because the first one was so great that we were like, you know what? Like, yeah, we got time to <laughs> squeeze one more in. Yeah. But please tell us the name of the games that we just played. Sure. Uh, go ahead. Well, the first game you played is uh, Dragon's Curse. Yep. Dragon's Curse. Yes. Yes. The second game you played is The Lost Tomb Lost. Hero. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for having us. Thank you for letting thank us you. play those games. How many do you have here? We have a total of five games. Five right, right now. now. Yes. Five right now. We have the Dragons. Uh, we have our Voodoo Swamp. We have a Lost Dracula. Tomb Hero yep. or Villain. Mm -hmm. right. And we currently have Dracula. Yep. Wow. And soon to open Master of Illusions. Master of Illusions, yes. their newest game, which is coming soon. So make sure you check back at their website, subscribe for updates, visit their Facebook, social media, anything that you can find them on, and uh, stay tuned for that. All right, out of the games that you have available right now, which seems to be the most popular? The one that they're booking more frequently? That is a tough choice. That's a really uh, tough choice. I want to say Voodoo Swamp, although they're really almost close. I mean, every all the games are pretty equal. Yes. And I think when guests come to visit us, uh, they come back and they play all the games. Well, of course. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they really do. Yeah. Um, probably right. Uh, Dragon's Curse and Voodoo yeah. um, are somewhat even on that mm -hmm. uh, because the Dragon's Curse is. Pretty much for everyone, right? Uh, and voodoo, the same thing, uh, but you know, people like a little, a little bit of little creepy. Yeah, 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 of yeah. course. Who doesn't love that? <laughs> and also, I feel like they're very good in terms of introducing what escape rooms could be for you know people who want to keep coming back. Yeah. and the experience is definitely there. So yeah, I totally agree. That's a great room for yeah. beginners, even yeah. even pros. Yeah. Everybody has a pretty yeah. good time. Um, do you want to share with them any news and updates for what's new for sure. Escape Time Adventures or coming soon? I know you just mentioned a new room. Is there anything else? Uh, there is a new room coming, Master of Illusion, which mm -hmm. will open soon. That's okay. going to be our, the largest room we have here. And it's filled with special effects and magic. Mm -hmm. uh, if you love a good murder mystery, uh, that'll be the room for you. And then after that, we have one more room coming. And uh, another room. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All Let's right. just say it's a, it, you, you're going to be stuck in a log cabin in a snowstorm, and the abominable snowman might be nearby. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah. First so, of all, I am so. a sucker for any cabin themed game. Ah. I don't know what it is about yep. cabins that yeah, it really just, nice. I, I feel like, well, first of all, being in a cabin yes. and then, you know, solving puzzles or even like when survival skills start to kick in, right. it really puts you in that predic yeah. predicament. And, and, and you're not going to want to go outside because it will be snowing. Yeah. Stop. 
Yeah. And it might be cold. I believe him too, because I just took a sneak peek at Master of Illusion, so he's not kidding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, is All right. there an ETA on that game, and do you have a name for that game yet? Uh, it's Cold Expedition Yeti right now, it might change, but I think that's the name. Okay. And uh, that's going to be spring of next year. So yeah, so we'll, we'll open up our, our new game this year. And, um, and then next year, yeah. All right, yeah. wow, okay. All right, so now I am with Kelly, one of the managers here at Escape Time Adventures. I got a question for you, Kelly. Share with me a story of what you've seen players do in the room while game mastering and watching them on camera in the room. It could be funny, crazy, how, whatever you want to share with me. Um, yeah, so things happen every single day, but um, just yesterday we had a group of teenage girls and one mom who went into one of our scarier rooms into Dracula. Dracula? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, something might have happened that freaked them out, but what was really interesting is when they backed away, they backed into their own jacket hanging on the door, and it just scared them even more, and they screamed. Oh my god. Probably as loud as I've ever heard. They provided their own jump scare yeah. from, from their own <laughs> coats. The people in the lobby were like, what happened? And I was like, the into their own coat. I don't know. <laughs> that is a first. That is definitely a first being scared, so scared, <laughs> by their own coat. Yep. The mom oh. was there to protect them, but she was the one that screamed. She was. I think. She threw the kids in front of her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you've been doing this for a while. Uh, do you ever get a chance to actually get out and play escape rooms? Because I feel like you're here it, building most of the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, we try. Um, we try. Uh, yeah. Sometimes when. Uh, we build other escape rooms for people. Yeah. And sometimes, like recently, when we're on an install, we try to find that moment. Check out the to ones in the area. Sneak out okay. and yeah. check out others yeah. in the area. Yeah. yeah. And then we have other things that we do. We have one of the oldest haunted attractions uh, in the industry. That's right. Uh, the Haunted Mansion uh, uh, here in Poughkeepsie, New York. And then we have a Christmas festival. So it is crazy from the fall through the winter and then always doing something new. So, all year. All know, year building, building other escape rooms around the country. So. But doing something that they love. So. We do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, was there any game that stood out for you? Again, it doesn't have to be your favorite. It's sure. one that was memorable, preferably the name of the company and the game. Yeah. I would think, um, well, I mean, we were big fans of Five Wits, which okay. of course is uh, a type of an escape room, right. more of an adventure game. Mm -hmm. But we like the, um, we like anything that has that sort of Disney feel to it. Okay. And that's one of the best compliments that we get here is that people come in, they go out saying, wow, that was like Disney. You know? right, right. So, you know, um, so anything. We took that adventurous yeah. aspect because we love to do that and we go back even with our uh, events. That's kind of what we always create: right. storytelling and some type of event, adventure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we kind of um, modeled a little bit after um, uh, Five Wits. Okay. Uh, but we kind of added a little more challenging things. Oh, of course. Yeah. To yeah. Right. More of a traditional escape room. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Number which one of the Five Wits games that stood out for you? I think the first one was uh, the Egyptian game. You know, was was probably you know that, that was, was my favorite, favorite too. Favorite. Yeah. That was a yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So. Well, shout out to Five Wits. Yeah. Um, and then <laughs> you guys build everything on your own, right? Everything is on in house. Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 Our shop is located near our facility here. Fortunately for us. Wow. And uh, so we're able to construct with our crew. Um, you know, all the, all the pieces necessary, plus do all the video production and stuff. Okay. Yeah, our main company is a, a themed attraction design and we fabricate, so uh, everything from escape rooms to just about anything. Wow. Yeah. So i got to ask you, in terms of your process, do you usually start with the build and then the storyline, then the puzzles, or puzzle, storyline, build? Like, what is the order? Storyline first. Okay. Um, although it can change oh, along the way, which, you know, happens which will every happen. time. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, but we really like to start with a basic story. Um, and you know it's, it has a backstory. Sometimes you know people will never hear all that backstory. Right. But for right. us, that's how we design. It. So I mean, we build a nice backstory, and then we'll start you know fleshing it out. Okay. And it happens, and the creativity flows from there. Uh, because then you might go, oh, here's an idea. Uh, yeah. Whatever it is, here's a good action, right, and we'll right. turn it into a puzzle, which right. might lead it in a different direction. So there's so much involved. Oh, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. And I think probably along the way, things just start percolating. And, they do. You know, yeah. yeah, once you roll, it just keeps going. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, well, I just met Kevin and Holly, but I got to get to know you a little bit better. What is something that most people do not know about you outside of escape time adventures? Uh, like hidden, hidden talent, a hobby, anything like to do? Uh, I'm probably sure there's a lot, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Disney fan. We loves Disney. Every Disney fan. Absolutely. Huge Disney fan? Like, yeah, you know, pretty good. Okay. You know, which is your favorite? Yeah, you know, which is my favorite? Uh, uh, I guess Disney film? Or Disney characters? Probably Disney parks. Again, it all goes back to that theme park okay. and stuff. You know, I've been trying to do that, uh, you know, for years. I've just been a big fan. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. who doesn't love Disney? Have a We're big... trying to move to Florida. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and Holly, uh, uh, anything you'd like to share? <laughs> <laughs> She's an opera singer. No. Yeah, no. No, we're uh, serious. Oh, we we uh, grab no. a mic. Hey, Mike. Oh, 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 we do Holly's, have an Holly's background comes from the theater, and so Holly, you know, performs or in or performed in uh, many shows and different things like that. And, mm -hmm. yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to do murder mystery dinners together. Yeah, that's you know? that was, uh, that was way fun. back when. Way that back. Was oh, uh, that's yeah. so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for sharing that information with me. I really sure. appreciate it. <laughs> You guys, check out our website, escapetherumors.com, so you know what we thought of the two games that we played here tonight. And also, like and subscribe on our YouTube channel, because we're showing you what to expect when you get here. The parking situation, the lobby area, sneak peeks inside of some of the rooms, and also these amazing stories from the creators themselves, from behind the scenes. And you will not be disappointed when you make it over to Wappinger Falls to check out Escape Time Adventures.
me to use One hit left for me to move Time is running out, gotta figure something out